Hello friends, this video on physical and chemical changes part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 3. Fill in the blanks. When carbon dioxide is passed through lime water, it turns milky due to the formation of, as we saw in the reaction, calcium carbonate is formed. The chemical name of baking soda is, so baking soda is a base and baking soda is called sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate. So it can, its chemical formula is NaHCO3. This is sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. Two methods by which rusting of iron can be prevented are dash and dash. So one popular method is galvanization. So in galvanization what do we do? We provide a coating of zinc over iron and zinc is uh, corrosion resistant so therefore it protects the iron from being rusted. The other method could be painting or greasing or oiling any of these will work. Changes in which only dash properties of a substance change are called physical changes. So physical changes deal with physical properties of course. These properties which can be seen, observed and measured. Changes in which new substances are formed are called new substances in uh, means substances with new chemical composition. So these kind of changes are called chemical changes. Question number four. When baking soda is mixed with lemon juice, bubbles are formed with the evolution of a gas. What type of change is it? Now what is baking soda? Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate that is NaHCO3. And what does lemon juice contain? Lemon contains citric acid. Right? Now citric acid and acids contain H plus ions. All acids contain H plus ions. Now when this sodium bicarbonate or baking soda reacts with the H plus ions of the citric acid, it forms, it dissociates into sodium ions and H2CO3. So this H2CO3 is carbonic acid. And what happens to this H2CO3? This carbonic acid further dissociates to form H2O and CO2. So this was aqueous solution of this acid in water and it forms liquid water and gaseous carbon dioxide and due to this evolution of this carbon dioxide we see the bubbles so this carbon dioxide is released as bubbles so that, that is how the entire chemical reaction takes place when baking soda is mixed with lemon juice. So you see a lot of chemical changes take place. So of course this is a chemical change. So undoubtedly we can say that this is a chemical change. So let's see question number 5. When a candle burns, both physical and chemical changes take place. Identify these changes. Give another example of a familiar process in which both the physical and chemical changes take place. Now when a, can when a candle burns, a couple of things take place. For example, the wax starts melting. So that melting of wax, what happens during melting of wax? So during melting of wax, it is basically the solid wax which is being converted into a liquid form. But composition wise, it still remains the same. So melting of wax is a physical change. Whereas during the same burning of candle, the wax, some part of the wax is also burning, right? So that part of the wax which is actually burning, in that case what is happening? Wax is actually getting converted into new chemical substances. Heat is released, light is released which symbolizes that it is a chemical change. So both the changes are taking place during the same process. Now we can think of another process like burning of wood. So when the wood gets burned, it is a chemical change of course because uh, carbon dioxide is released, uh, ashes are being formed at the end, so new substances are formed, so that is a chemical change. But at the same time, wood contains a lot of water, so that water also gets converted into water vapor. So that part is a physical change because water and water vapor both have same chemical composition that is H2O. It is just that their state is changing from liquid to vapor. So that is so that is also a part of burning of wood and that part is a physical change. 
Question number six. How would you show that setting of curd is a chemical? So we had discussed the process of curd formation in detail, right? So what happens during the process of curd formation? If you take some milk, you put some small amount of curd just as a starter and then leave it for overnight and the curd settles down. So this conversion of milk into curd that happens and during this process, due to the action of this bacteria called lactobacillus, which is present in curd, what happens is lactic acid is produced. And due to the formation of lactic acid, we know acids are sour in taste. So due to the formation of lactic acid, curds get a sour taste. So during this process, again, new chemical substances like lactic acid are being formed. So this is a chemical change. Question. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.